Welcome to the USS Silverside Submarine Museum, a museum dedicated to the efforts and accomplishments of the veterans who fought in World War II. The museum behind me is a 15,000 square foot facility. We are located at 1346 Bluff Street in Muskegon, Michigan, very close to Pier Marquette Park, and of course, right on the channel that connects Muskegon Lake to Lake Michigan. Currently, there is a course on World War II history being offered at the museum every Monday night from 6 till 9 p.m. Two instructors from Muskegon Community College have developed this course, and in cooperation with the college, the class is being offered here at the museum. Throughout the 15 weeks, each evening will have a different instructor, a different speaker, a different presenter with a specific expertise. The class is attended by students who have enrolled for credit and the museum has made the offer to the community members to attend this lecture series if they so wish and do so free and of course donations are graciously and generously accepted. The topics throughout the course, if I may read from the notes that I have about the course, began on January 7th with a, the topic of from Versailles to Munich, talking about the transition from World War I to World War II. Subsequent weeks covered the topics of the German Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg crushing Poland, England stands alone, Hitler's dilemma, Operation Barbarossa about Russia, Pearl Harbor awakening the sleeping giant, the Pacific Theater, defeating the Desert Fox and Muskegon, the arsenal of democracy. We invite you to come to the Silversides Museum on Monday evening, beginning Monday, January 14th, 6 p.m., to enjoy a very interesting evening about World War II history. All right, we're honored this evening to have a wonderful set of speakers who will be presenting on Muskegon, the arsenal of democracy. And as you're going to come to find out, Muskegon was a very active place during World War II. Per capita, it had one of the highest production rates of any county in the United States. And as uh, you will be told by many of our speakers, it was one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas. In fact, one of five that required a special census to be taken mid uh, 40s to compensate for the fact that it was growing at such a rapid rate. And I'm sure our speakers will address the issues of hot cotting and other things, the hot racks and so forth that had to go on because housing was in short supply in this community. This evening we're blessed to have perhaps our youngest and maybe one of our most informative speakers. Her name is Mackenzie Brandel. Mackenzie is a freshman student at Whitehall High School and has been competing at the national level as part of the National History Fair, um, as well as uh, being a contestant in a um, uh, contest involving the World War II Museum in New Orleans. And she has a very interesting presentation which ties into the theme that we have up here, we can do it. Obviously, everybody recognizes this woman, right? Yeah. If you can't, it's Rosie the Riveter. And she has her own Rosie story to tell, much closer to her heart and much closer to her family. Following Mackenzie this evening, we will have uh, Mr. Dan Yates, a retired professor from Muskegon Community College, 42 years. He's written four books in collaboration with his um, collaborator, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Demos, who Steve Demos, who is a cardiac heart surgeon, retired here from the community, and they've written such wonderful local histories as the tradition continues, a book about Michigan State football. Uh, sorry, Wolverines, don't throw any more. <laughs> no, go red. <laughs> Land Between the Lakes, the 100th anniversary of Muskegon Country Club, and Walking the White, which is a 
book about the logging activities on the White River near Whitehall. And they're currently collaborating on two new publications, one called Healing Hands, The History of Medicine in Muskegon County. And the last one that they're doing is The History of Muskegon County in the 20th Century. Now, if you know these two gentlemen, they, they are exceptional in their presentations, and they have a power-packed presentation tonight with lots of photographs, which will probably stir lots of memories for those that lived through the period. And if you're too young to know the period, you'll, you'll get a good appreciation with the photos. So without any hesitation, we're going to start with Mackenzie this evening. Mackenzie, would you come right up and get started? Who they were talking about the picture caption. 